well, if it's not one thing, it's another. Um, um, I just drove over to an area that I haven't been to in about a month or so. And there's nobody there at the pizza place. And um, it's the best pizza in the, in the town, actually. It was remarkable. And um, it was kind of weird. And, you know, it could, it could have been a power outage. It could have been... So, on, on Facebook, you know, it said in August they were temporarily closed because of labor shortages. Staff, um, people weren't going back to work. And they need staff. And, um, um, they were worried about another shutdown, I guess, after Delta variant. So, um, there was a sign, or on Facebook, it says they are permanently closed. Like, about four restaurants that I really just adored, just relied upon, and... I mean, I guess for like 27 years, I've been eating at Luciano's Pizza and best crust ever. And they had a business that was just mind blowing. They didn't even give coupons out because they were so busy all the time. And because people didn't go back to work or because people were paid not to work, this business is, is you know, gone and, um, I mean, it's on the corner of a very busy intersection, and I cannot believe that, you know, even they couldn't make it. And now with the peanut brittle issue, and now with the pizza issue, I mean, there's a lot of places open, granted, right? But some of the very best places, the most memorable places are gone because of the pandemic, because everything was shut down, because of, you know, a handful of people were dying. What about all the people that are dying from smoking? They're not shutting down smoking, are they? They're still, you know, R.J. Reynolds is still making cigarettes. And in North Carolina, they're still farming tobacco. What bullshit. I mean, you just don't expect something like this. And this is, this is like really, really major. I mean, just think of the, your best place, the place that you go to and you relied upon for two decades, almost three, and then they just shut down. And, um, I mean, I just don't need any more upsets. I mean, life just really, really sucks. And you know, um, the 9-11, uh, you know, terrorist actions that happened many years ago. I mean, that was a real shocker. That impacted so many people and so many families. It, it did impact me, but um, when I lived in Manhattan, I had a beautiful view from my apartment of the Twin Towers. And so that was a fixture that's missing when I go to New York City. So um, there's just so many fucking losses. And I mean, I'm sure the family, the Luciano's chain, it was a chain. I don't know if the other um, places are open. When I look at this pretty sky. There's always deer around here, so I have to drive really slow. And it's kind of on a hill, so you see the really pretty sunset. Wow. Well, that's really, really pretty, huh? I'm gonna pull in here. But anyway, my God. I mean, I, and I've lived here for over two decades and like, I really expected them to like, you know, just be here till the end of time. If not, you know, the family, the children or whatever, uncles and aunts, nieces and nephews take over. And even they didn't find a way to, um, you know, restore the business. <laughs> Shocking. This is a food loving town and they just had the best. They just had the best. I mean, so this is not my, it's not my day. And, uh, just too many losses, you know, my grandfather and so many, so many places in Pittsburgh. 
great places. Like when you go to Market Square, the best place that was there, NOLA, it's gone. So many memories there. If any of you are, you know, still uh, feeling the effects of, you know, the shutdown, lockdown, just jot your experiences down below because I'm kind of really interested in what other people have um, encountered because my day is shot. I did not expect that. And every fucking day is just, it can be just misery upon misery. And, um, so today was just a day of, you know, memories, memories of good things. And now that they're just destroyed, dead or gone. So anyway, I'm eating some of the peanut brittle and it's really good. Reminds me of my grandfather. He knew I really liked him, but you know, I really probably didn't say that. You never really tell people things that you liked about them until it's too late. He was so good to me. Anyway, look at this beautiful. Went to another place, I went to a Thai place. And uh, I was gonna dine in and they've totally shut down all the tables in there. I mean, this is like long after COVID shut down and um, it's only takeout, so you can't even sit down. So, I am just really bummed. And there's many places to eat, but why did everything have to happen today? I don't know. There's no fucking God. Sometimes like I look into the sky and think, you know, like where is this God that I was t trained and brainwashed to, you know, respect and pray to? Where is God? Where's God when you need him? And how many times do you have to pray in order to get your prayers answered? Prayers don't work.